Hello and welcome. Um, it's going to be a slightly different video today. While I am in F actually in FC24, just looking around and what have you, um, I will be talking about FC25. Basically, they've released a pitch notes um, file about it, a page um, with pictures and headings and explanations, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to be talking a bit about that and just flicking through bits and pieces on here. So basically, all the stuff that you need to know about from the pitch notes, I will link to the file, uh, the page below in the description so you can read it yourself. But <clears throat> I've had a look through um, and the bits that I think need to be shared, I'm going to say. Um, obviously, make your own mind up, have a look at the document, etc. like that. But yeah, this is the stuff that I've learned from it that uh, I may or may not have known before, but they are, uh, it's all in included in the document below. Um, obviously, the web app starts in two days' time on the 18th of September. So that is the first FC25 like marker, the first bit that's coming up. And then the companion website, obviously, the bit that you can access on your browser, that will appear one day later on the 19th. There's a 96 Lukemi, who I don't think I've packed before. There we go. Um, as for the actual game itself, if you've got the early access launch, so you've got the pre-order of the Ultimate Team Edition, then you'll be able to play from the 20th um, on console and PC. If you've got EA Play members, we'll be able to do the 10-hour trial, obviously, via the trial. Um, and F EA Play Pro members, PC only, will be able to get a limited access to EA FC 25 from that point. Um, the worldwide launch, um, if you've ordered the standard edition, pre-ordered that, then you'll be able to get on from the 27th on console and PC. Obviously, different people will have different versions and that di dictates what access you've got and at what, what point. Now, the bits I noticed and the bits that they made pretty clear is the rewards are changing somewhat. They are trying to be more... Um, they're trying to they're trying to improve. Obviously, they're trying to make the game better. So the rewards, um, like the XP, that kind of element, the the points and the progression, are built across the different game modes. So it's not just within foot, which is just ultimate team. They are splitting between the career mode and the manager mode as well. So you'll be so it's not just a case where you finish your squad battles or you finish division rivals or weekend league and you want to play a bit more and you don't know what to do. You can go into the career mode, you can go into the manager mode, you can play other things and then pick up rewards from foot um, as a general, a generally ongoing throughout the game. Um, they did show um, a screenshot where the... I'll just get rid of these. Where the weekly objectives, within those weekly objectives, like the play three squad battles, play two division roles, that kind of thing, there were career manager and foot objectives built into those as a starting point. So you could um, find yourself play... To get the overall XP within foot, you had to play like two games as a manager, three games as a player in the career mode, and then five foot games mode as well. Basically, you'll see when the first thing's there or on the link below, but yeah, it's split out between the different game modes. So you're not just limited to foot to get ahead in foot, if that makes sense. Um, it seems, yeah, it increased mixture and flexibility of game modes as you play. It's not strict, but it does seem to be pushing towards that kind of what is that for a duplicate set of packs. To be honest, we're going to chuck them out. Um, Rush was mentioned a little bit. It seems to be like a five side, six side thing. Um, a bit like, like what's the word? Like the skill moves, the game mode that go, that they had before. But it wasn't mentioned a whole load in the game notes. But it is what it is. And yeah, basically the rewards were playing for FC25 as a game and the engagement within the game as a whole, which is, seems to be what they're pushing, rather than just playing it only in foot, as in just the ultimate team game mode. It was split out between 
all the different other types. So you're you're being rewarded for having the game open and playing games and interacting with it rather than not just looking at Ultimate Team. Um, which, as I, as I was thinking, it just spreads the focus. Um, it means that if there isn't content in the Ultimate Team, you can go and play the Manager or the Career Mode section instead. You don't have to be fully focused on ultimate team for oh my god i need i need some content in this so i can have something new to play with new to play for um and just a different like a, a focus within the game if should you want that you can you can play evening and career mode if you don't fancy playing online if your internet's playing up just play something else instead um which basically it means that they don't have to put as much content out for ultimate team if they've got the split between the different types of game mode then it's not fully focused on ultimate team they've got the whole element of where it doesn't matter if there's nothing there because you can go and play this somewhere else or something along those lines that seemed to be what i was reading between the lines with i can't believe i'm chucking away a 97 hullet but there you go um but obviously like with fc24 like with all the other games before fifa 23 etc what they actually say in the game mode what sorry what they say in the pitch notes now and what they bring in and how they play it and how they like they maintain it through the year we'll see i mean they said they were going to do like the player choice things they said they were going to upgrade player stats throughout the year if they'd done a particularly good goal or particularly good pass or save or anything like that absolutely no sign of that at all it is the what they're saying now in the pitch notes doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be held to doing that as we go through the game it is just their intentions how they're selling the game to people now um plans and words versus actual implementation of those plans and words won't be as consistent as they would like it to be i don't think but that's just what we've learned from other ones who knows? We're getting rid of a 97 Alaba now. That's even madder. So the first season is called Total Rush. Um, obviously, the XP, there will be packs. There will be minimal things there. Um, trying to encourage people to build their squad up, getting engaged with the game. You'll get the normal foundation, the normal basics, the normal bits and pieces that we get at the beginning of FIFA. And you'll see how that is. Everybody will be trying to get those gold... Um, sorry, the bronze and silver players to get the links with the squads and all that kind of jazz. You know what it's done. You've been there before. Um, they uh, are introducing this The World Tour, which is um, a league or nation-themed content throughout the season. So basically, they've trialled that to an extent in FC24 with... Um, they're starting with Spain this time round. So basically, you might have... A, a live friendly mode or a live friendly competition where you have to have entirely Spanish players which basically they're trying to make it as they say in the pitch notes so that you don't go into every game knowing you're going to face Mbappe and Oshiman and Grealish and Bernardo Silva all over again and those are the players that you're going to face uh, seven or eight times out of ten that they want to increase um they want to increase the variation of the squads the the difference between so that you can build so you can build a successful MLS squad so you can build a successful Saudi league squad and still be able to compete with the people who've got Mbappe, Griezmann, uh, Vinicius, Rodrigo, Bellingham, Cruz, etc. Well not Cruz obviously. Um but yeah, we'll see how that goes. It is just, again, it is what it is. What We'll have to wait and see to see what they say is how they do it. We'll, we'll see if their words match up. Uh, Evolutions are still there. Moments they didn't mention. Uh, but yeah, Evolutions still be there. It should still be, to be honest, should be just as good as it have been this time round. Obviously, myself and other people have a different approach to it. I think I'm going to slightly won't always go for the best fit for each thing i may go for the players i want because the amount of times i found myself using evolutions players within the actual game itself they were never they were never 
and an evolution player was never the best striker in my squad. Was never the best midfielder in my squad. I think only Alaba, the the defender I had, was like a mainstay defender within the game. And obviously, we didn't have goalkeeper evolutions up until, well, ever. I don't think, do we? I can't even remember. But yeah, that that'll be interesting to see. Definitely going to change my approach to evolutions. Um, two other things. Uh, weekend league, it's. Well, as well as uh, this time, we have to you have to win three out of five qualification games to qualify for the weekend league, rather than four out of ten. So the percentage required has risen, but the overall actual number of wins required has dropped. And then the champs games that is a big pack to get rid of a lot of players, but we're going to anyway. Um, champs games are going to be fifteen for the weekend league rather than twenty. So the overall number has reduced. Um, but the rewards have been juiced right up. And when I say juiced right up, I mean juiced right up. For the best players in the game, the packs looked mad. They were like it's like an 84 by 10, an 85 by 10, two 89s and a base icon and more for the best ones, which were insane, which was really quite... As in, I know obviously I'm never going to get to that level. So I, I've made my peace with that. I'm okay with that. Not bothered. But yeah, it, it was crazy for that. Um, the amount of squad battles. Obviously, we had we've had 32 squad battles matches per week for the last couple of seasons. Now it's going to be down to 14. Obviously, you can play more for requirements for evolutions, etc. But it's going to be 14 squad battles matches per week. So where you... Wait a minute, let me go to the bit. So in the top section here on the right-hand side where it says matches played 0 out of 32, it's now going to say 0 out of 14. And I don't know if it will have the whole 14 available here at the front or whether it will just match them over 4 by 4 by 4 like they've done before. I don't know. That wasn't made clear. Um, the... New icons, actually, no, In when, when you click on a player, well, let's go to my squad, obviously when you click on a player, let's go to somebody here, you've got the left, the right stick button, you can flick between positions, stats, um, play styles, info about the player. Um, on this section here, there's also going to be an average market price for the player. So on the top section, you're going to have average. And then below that, skill moves and weak foot. So if, say if this David Beckham is going for 600,000 coins, that's the average sale price for him. That will appear at the top. So you could, if you open a pack, like that um, preview pack I got, I assume you will be able to... <coughs> This is actually quite a useful feature, that's why I'm mentioning it. Um, if you open your... <coughs> sorry. <coughs> if you open your pack here, and then you flick to the right, you can see immediately how much these players... Are. He's got four play styles straight off the bat. That seems like a lot for a 75 rated card. Um... Yeah, straight away, by flicking to the right, you'll be able to see the average price that these people players go for. And that will be able to make you... That will help you make a quicker, more informed decision about what you can do with this pack, whether you want to keep it. Obviously, that will work for all the rewards that you open within the actual um, pack opening screen. It just seems quite useful. Obviously, I don't know whether how accurate it's going to be, but it's going to give you a, give you a ballpark figure that you can work with and um, hopefully... Well, means you won't miss out on those players that actually sell for a lot more than you think so at the time because you just haven't checked that price properly or you've just tried to sell it quickly. Um, as for new icons and heroes, obviously there have been loads mooted. Um, the ones that confirmed as heroes, Jamie Carragher, Laura Georges, Guti, the Real Madrid player, Marek Hamzik of Napoli, obviously, Eden Hazard, Chelsea Real Madrid, Tim Howard, um, Mike on... Uh, Blaise Matuidi, Mohamed Noor, Celia Sasic, Celia Sasic, sorry, Yap Stam, Farah Williams, and Z Roberto. Presumably, Z Roberto is going to be by um, Bundesliga. 
Then the new icons, you've got Nadine Ang Angra, the German league goalkeeper, Gareth Bale, which will be a lovely icon to use. Um, Gianluigi, Gianluigi Buffon, obviously an obvious choice. Um, Julie Fodi, Aya Miyama, Marinette Pichon, Lotta Schelling and Lilian Tram. Lilian Tram is going to be a beast of a defender for certain because he is paced by the barrel load and strength and the defensive skills to cope with a lot of things. But Gareth Bale, I'm excited about getting as an icon. I want to see how they treat him. But yeah, for me, Eden Hazard, Marek Hamzik, going to be all over that. I want some of those cards. I want that Hamzik card for definite. Early doors, saving my coins for him. For absolute definite. That's what I want. So, those are the pitch notes that I've seen um, released by EA Sports today. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Other than that, there's no content in FC24. You'd be very surprised if I told you there was. Um, but yeah, that's what we will end with. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you're still playing the game, good luck with your picks, with your packs and your play. And I'll speak to you probably this time tomorrow. Other than that, for now, I'm out. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.